Hi, I'm Jake White. A couple of years ago, I was lucky enough to coach the Springboks and we went on to win the World Cup. Today, I'm currently Director of Rugby at the Vodacom Bulls. So for me, my focus has changed. I want you guys that are youngsters to grow up to be the best rugby players you can. And today, Coach Joey is going to teach you how the scrum works. Thanks, Jake. Helping me with today's episode is two Vodacom Bulls players as well as Biliki. As mentioned in episode four, a scrum in Biliki rugby features three players, two props and a hooker. For us though here at the Vodacom Bulls, we scrum with all eight forwards. Let's get you started with the basics. Your team gets awarded a scrum when the following things happen. The ball was passed forward by the opposition. After someone knocked the ball on, an advantage was applied. When the ball fails to appear from your own mall, when the ball is kicked. In Biliki rugby, we only kick off and we do not kick in open play. In Biliki rugby, we do not push in the scrum. The team that has the throw in must hook the ball and the scrum breaks up only after the ball was passed to the fly off. In Biliki rugby, the scrum off must remain at the back feet of his scrum and the back lines need to remain five meters away until the ball is passed. In Biliki rugby, the players must also rotate positions. When the scrum is awarded, a new front row must take the position in the scrum and back line alternatively. Every player must experience all the different positions in the scrum and in the back line during the game. So what did we learn today? The scrum is used to restart play after a minor infringement, like a forward pass or a knock-on. It concentrates the forwards and the scrum halves in one place, leaving a lot of space on the field for the backs to do their magic. Join us on the next episode of Jake's Kickstart, where we're going to show you how to tackle safely.